Welcome back, this is Yama Jack, and today we got Gunslinger Left for Dead. No more of the apartments. I don't know, what's the NM stand for? I don't know, dude. First batch of Welcome back, though, how you doing? Get ready to Finished up episode 4 of the uh, the Minecraft series, uploaded it. Made the good. thumbnail, all that. It's all nice and donezo, which is, you know, always nice when you're done a task. It's nice when you finish something, right? No matter, no matter how small it is, you always you always feel good when you when you finish. I watch uh, a lot of cooking YouTubers. I like I like cooking, and I watch a lot of cooking YouTubers because of it. And one of the ones that I watch is uh, is I, I think her name is Emmy, made in Japan. Is that is that her name? I'm gonna I'm gonna be mad if I don't get it. Uh, Emmy made Emmy made. I thought it was Emmy. I thought it didn't it used to be Emmy made in Japan. Or am I like insane? Am I insane? Did she change it or did it used to be? Yeah, okay. Welcome to the official YouTube channel for Emmy made, formerly known as Emmy made in Japan. Okay. I'm like, hold up. Uh, something seems mighty wrong here. Anyway, Emmy made. Uh, she makes a lot of typically fairly, uh, uh, fairly exotic dishes. Not necessarily, you know, from exotic places, but, uh, strange things. We'll, 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 we'll put it that way. And I, I'm allowed to say strange things because, uh, you know, it's not, it's not a cultural thing. She made cookies out of, you know, Ben and Jerry's cookie dough ice cream. You know, like, uh, you know, she's, she's made bull, pe bull penis. Um, you know, thing, things that uh, the vast majority of people would look at and be like, huh, that's weird. And I think I'm allowed to say that. Um, but I like her. I like her a lot. She also tries a lot of exotic fruits, which is, uh, is super cool to see. Or she used to, anyway. I don't know if she still does. Maybe she's tried them all by now. I don't know. Um, but anyway, uh, the, the recently she made a video about, uh, fried rice, and I was like, alright, I'll watch it. I, uh, I like pretty much, pretty much any cooking show that goes over something that's simple, I will, I will watch, because it's quick, and you get to learn maybe a couple of little tidbits that you didn't know before, you know, because it's the simple things where, uh, as, as a cook, you really get to, to show off, right? Like, how, how much, how much can you really make your own fried rice stand out from the others, right? And uh, one of the tips that she gave, super weird, like, so weird, but uh, it was put chicken bouillon, bouillon, I don't know, how do you pronounce it, uh, in uh, in your fried rice, like just a little bit, it just adds like a uh, sort of MSG kind of chickeny flavor to it, which is... Uh, you know, apparently pleasant. So today, I had some some leftover jasmine rice from a few days ago. And I was like, I got rice. I got leftover meat. I got some veggies. I have chicken bouillon. What do you, what do, you do? You make fried rice, of course. So I tried it. And it's, it's weird. But like, it works. It's actually good. <laughs> I don't know. It's... it's I, I wasn't expecting it to be bad. I was expecting it to be different. You know, I was, I was expecting it to be a strictly lateral move, but no, this was it was it was better. It was it was an, it was good. I liked it. I'll probably do that. You know, more often than uh, than before. I don't have any sesame oil at the moment. I'll have to get some more of that. So I, I had to have sesame oil less uh, fried rice, which is not a great experience, but not a bad experience. The sesame oil definitely adds a lot to, to fried rice. Um, but yeah, chicken bouillon. It was it was like a really 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 weird addition, but it worked. Typically, when I make fried rice, I just put a little bit of soy sauce and then a, a you know a very little bit of sesame oil uh, with the rice and you know whatever kind of oils you were using. Today I had garlic butter because I made some some nice garlic butter yesterday. Vive sans restrictions. Is that how it's pronounced? I don't know. I'm not French. Down you go. I uh, I am Canadian, but that's not really French. 
I had uh, French class in school. We had uh, what was it called? There was there was uh, there was a it, it, I forget what it was called, but it, it was, it's it's called like a specific thing here. Can't remember. It's like a super simple word too. I shouldn't be forgetting it, um, but I am. Yeah, no, it's gone. <laughs> I don't I don't know what it is. Uh, anyway, the, you, you, like French classes are mandatory here uh, for for Canadians. So if you if you meet a Canadian, they they probably won't speak French because we forget it all and don't pay attention. But um, probably better off than like your average American at least. But like, but you know, I I wouldn't only because. It, we, we were at least not paying attention in class instead of like just not even being in class you know what I mean <laughs> it, it's it's a very very minor difference but uh, and, and we have a lot more exposure to the language as well being in Canada um, it's not like a Canada better than America thing it's just I, I was I was trying to think of a, of a country that wouldn't have a whole lot of like French speakers in it and I'm like I don't know America it's primarily English and like you know, Spanish, maybe. Country, I think. Perhaps, I don't know. Italian a little bit, perhaps. I don't, I don't think it's real Italian. It's kind of like the same thing that uh, the Canada did to French, I think, right? Because we got, we got French here. But it's, if you go to Paris and people aren't going to be like, Oh yeah, you speak great French. Nah, nah, they're going to be like, What are you saying? You know? Same kind of thing, I'm assuming, with... Uh, you know the Italians in in America, just because you come over and like uh, you kind of evolve in different ways and different slang and all that kind of stuff, right? Um, yeah, you had to you had to go to, to class. Growing up, I didn't pay attention. Nobody did. Nobody paid attention. It's like a boring class, and then and then you don't even like. It's not useful. You know, when I was growing up, it was like, my teachers were like, you have to know two languages, you can't get a job if you don't know two languages. And it's like, I'm, a, I'm an adult now, and I know... Down you go. It, does, it doesn't work this way. Um, but I know enough words to make up at least two different languages. <laughs> uh, it doesn't help me in my life, mind you, if I knew, like... An actual language uh, alongside English, it would, it would probably help me a lot. Um, but but I only know like, you know, if, you, if we could use all of the languages I know, I might be able to hold a conversation with somebody. You know, make make a new language out of the bits of the languages that I know. <laughs> it doesn't work that way. Um, I know that. I know that. I'm not. I'm not dumb. But. Uh, yeah, you don't, you don't need you don't need to know two languages. You don't have to be bilingual to get a job here. But that's what we were told as kids, you know. It's like you're never gonna get a job if you don't uh, know two languages. You have to pay attention in French class. I'm like, all right, I guess I'll just be uh, unemployed for the rest of my life because I'm not paying attention to French. I wish I did, you know. Like looking back on it, of course I do. At the time, as, as a you know ten year old little girl, I mean you don't really care about uh, French. Like, how the heck is this going to help me in my life? It ain't. That's why I dropped out of school. Another thing I... Well, dropping out of school is... Uh, it's had its ups and downs, I think. I, I'd, I'd probably be better off if I didn't drop out of school. But I can't, I can't know for certain. My life's pretty good, honestly. Um, so, you know, if, if, you, if I dropped out of school, it's not like it would have had to be an improvement. It's not like my life is so garbage right now that the only way I could go is up, you know? So I don't know if I really regret dropping out, but... It's not, it's not a, you know, shining recommendation for it. I, I highly recommend that you stay in school if you're in school. It's like just a better idea than dropping out, but... You know. I'm, I'm also not gonna lie to you. I, I don't think it was really that bad for me. It's fine, you know. I live in an area where I can work at minimum wage and pay for my life. You know, worst case scenario, I go get a job at McDonald's and I can live. 
And so, you know, having a proper marketable scale, like, you know, being able to, to do math or something, you know, might, might be good for, for my future, but like, I don't know, I don't really have any passions besides YouTube and like typing. And I don't really have to go to school for either of those, so I'm like, I don't know. And at the time I was going to school, I wasn't really learning anything. It's not to say like, oh, I'm so smart, I don't, I'm not learning anything in school. No, like, I was in like 9th and 10th grade when I dropped out, I believe. Maybe like a little bit of 11th as well, I believe. I was kind of in like mixed grades and, and doing some like online schooling and stuff. Um, come on. Um, and at the time, I just, I wasn't learning, because I had been doing online schooling for a while, and I'd, I'd kind of been, like, learning a lot of the stuff that I was learning in proper school already. So it just felt, like, useless, and then I, I didn't, I wasn't able to, you know, like, specialize in anything in science. Like, I was interested in, like, physics, getting into to doing, like, some, some proper physics experiments and stuff like that, but I had to learn, like, biology, and it's like... You know, to a certain extent, yeah, you kind of got to teach people everything. But at the same time, at that age, I knew I wasn't going into anything that, that involved biology. I wasn't. And I'm not. Like, it, 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 it never has interested me at, in the slightest. You know, and I, I get that you kind of have to have more of a generic thing to, to show everybody, like, what's available. And, like, you know, how would you like to continue with your life, right? But I, I, I just I knew I wasn't interested in biology. The English classes were like super not, you know, disability um, accessible. You know, I have autism. It, it made it really hard when they were like, and what was the author feeling when they wrote this? I'm like, I don't know. What, are, what am I feeling right now? Like, I'm trying to figure that out. <laughs> you know, like, what, what you know? They, 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 they show like a, a, a picture or like a movie or something. They're like, and what are these characters feeling? I'm like, I don't know, fear? Like, no, happiness. I'm like, why are they happy? Well, they just won the war. I don't know, like, is that not scary? Like, their faces look like they're scared. They're like, no, this is a happy face. I'm like, ah, beyond me, dude. This, this, is, this, is, uh, this is outside my skill set right here. <laughs> as, as a child, that's, that's about how good I was at... Uh, at understanding emotions. I, I actually had to go like therapy and like actually learn emotions. We had, we had like faces and they were like, you know, hey, these are these are the faces, these are the emotions they line up with and I still have to like think on it when I when I see people who are like doing something. I'm like, okay, is that a happy face or is that a sad face? And I don't even know sometimes, you know? I don't even know. It's, it's still hard for me, but I'm, I'm better at it now. But it was just a lot of, of, like, that kind of garbage. And then also, like, vocabulary. And I'm like, this is 10th grade English. Why are we learning vocabulary? And then the, the part that really got me was we were talking about, like, um... Words like, uh, however and but. Um, I forget what they're called, but they kind of, like, uh... You be dead. Like, connect two parts of a sentence that, that kind of have, you know, this thing, but this thing could also happen. Nicely done. And the teacher was, uh was uh, was asking you know and what other words can you think of that fit this description i'm like uh i'll be it it's like yeah but that one's a little bit too high level for us right now any other words I'm like what do you mean too high level this is 10th grade we're not allowed to use albeit <laughs> albeit is too high level for 10th graders are you for real um and then uh math class i don't think i had math class when i dropped out i think it was that was like next semester or something. I don't know. Um, yeah, it, it was the science class where we were just learning a ton of biology. And I'm like, none of this interests me. I'm not going. I don't like. I I'm just not interested. I have more productive things I can do with my time than learn about like cells. It, it will never be useful to me ever. Like a lot of things you learn in school. You're gonna be thinking, oh, this is never gonna be useful. No, no, it is. It, there, it'll there will come a time when it's useful. You know, like, knowing the Pythagorean theorem and, like, all of these things that you think are just completely useless. No. There, there will come a time when you might be like, oh, hey, I learned that in school. Knowing the makeup of a cell, unless you're going in, that's a hyper-specific thing. Unless you're going into, like, 
something involving biology. You're not gonna need to know that. You're never gonna be like cooking something and like, ah, oh, crap. How do I get these measurements right? And be like, oh, actually, you know, this this is just like a triangle. Yeah, I can do that. You know, it, it's never it's never gonna be like that for 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 like you know knowing how cells work. <laughs> like it's it's just not. Um. So I was I was very uninterested. And then we had English class where it was uh just garbage like what I was like like what I just said it's a lot of like and what are they feeling and can you write an essay on what these characters are feeling like I don't know feelings it's not an English thing that's the, like I just I don't know feelings and uh, you know my vocabulary is apparently too advanced for 10th grade so it's not me like flexing that I had like a big vocabulary I think the teacher was an idiot you know I, I think the teacher was just dumb and and vastly underestimating the capabilities of 10th graders and I, I'm, I'm saying that from a from some that that's come from me I don't think 10th graders are particularly capable <laughs> but I think they're capable at least to you know maybe not to have albeit be given to them as a word but if one of them brings it up like you don't just shut them down like no that's too advanced for you you can't handle that word that's too big of a responsibility like, what uh, and then I had programming class I was into programming when I was younger. Still am. Um, so I wanted to take a programming class in, in high school. It wasn't even programming. It, it was like HTML and Flash. <laughs> I'm like, alright, uh, HTML is not programming and Flash is going to be dead soon. So, you know. See ya. I, I think I talked about it before, but we had to like make websites and then print them off and hand them in. That was that was the the like technological liter like that was that was the like you know how 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 you know capable my, my teacher was as a as a, as a programmer and the worst part is is that they had to like we had to we had the grade above me in the class at the same time so they were teaching both of them at the same time because I guess programming just wasn't interesting enough for most people to join. Um, so they, they had to do it both at the same time. So the the school above was learning Java. And I'm like, hey, can I just like do that stuff instead? Like, do I really have to do this garbage? Like, that was that was stuff that I knew how to do. Like, they were learning how to like make for loops and stuff <laughs> in Java. And I'm like, all right, like this, this is it. This is at least, you know, showing a... I'm at least going to be able to, to maybe learn something here, right? Like, I might learn some terminology, I might learn some techniques I didn't know. Like, I was only in 10th grade at that point, right? Like, I wasn't a super genius at the at that time, right? Now now is a different story, but at the time, I wasn't a super genius. Um, so it was, it was definitely, like, they were learning stuff that was below me as a programmer at that point. But, you know, whatever. It, it was it was it was at least something that had the potential um, to to challenge me as a programmer, you know, towards the the later end of the class. At least, you know, we we'd have interesting things and, and problems that I, I'd be able to try and work out in in a, in a unique way or something. At least, you know, it wasn't just like make a website and print it off. So I was like, hey, can I just like join them instead? Because that seems like way more up my alley um and the teacher's like no you have to be in this one i'm like all right then like i'm just leaving because this is dumb why am i printing off websites and then i was in psychology i actually enjoyed the psychology class she was a, she was a good teacher if you're watching this and you know who you are but you're not then uh, i appreciated you you were a good teacher um, very LGBT friendly back then too, which was really really cool. That was where the uh, well, it was LGB back then. It wasn't LGBT. How the times have changed. So many new letters. It's so confusing. How do we tell? Uh, it was uh, it was actually the. I, th I think it was back then. It wasn't even LGB. It was GSA, the Gay Straight Alliance. <laughs> um, th these were these were different times. Okay, this was uh. Like a decade ago, maybe. It was before gay marriage, you know. Like it's, it's it was a while back, okay. But it was it was the Gay Street Alliance. It was hosted there. 
uh, in the psychology room. Um, you know, she was she was very pro people being people and having fun. She was she was a very supportive teacher. I very 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 much so liked her. Um, couldn't remember what she looked like or or what she what her name was or anything, but uh, she was she was a very good teacher. I really really liked her. But I already dropped out all my other classes, and I'm like, no, well, I'm not really gonna come to school just for psychology. So, bye. <laughs> See ya, I guess. This cat's back in the game. But I did like her. She was a, she was a fantastic teacher. I didn't respect her as much as I should have. I didn't pay attention in class as much as I should have. But I did respect her. It was just a issue with school mostly. I mean, the the time before that, I had uh, like my my entire history of schooling has just not been good. Um, like I was bullied growing up, so I eventually moved to online schooling. Um. And uh, in online schooling, they were like losing my work because I handed it in. So I'd, I'd hand in a sheet, and then they'd lose it, and 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 they'd send out like counselors and stuff to like help me get my work done. I'm like, no, I, I handed it in. Like it's been sent in. They're like, no, it hasn't. I'm like, I can show you. Like it's been sent in. They're like, no, it's we we can see it over here. We don't need you to show us. It's 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 right over here. We can see it. And I'm like. No, but like it's it's been handed. They they're, they're like sending counseling. We had like home counseling for for this kind of crap, and it's like just a disaster. And then I went to I felt I felt left out going to online schooling, so I went back to normal schooling. Um, and then like you know my English teacher is like undermining us. My science is just teaching us biology and other crap. I just do not care about. Um, you know, the programming teacher is completely illiterate, <laughs> and, uh, you know, the only class I actually cared about was psychology, and it's like, am I going to go to school for an hour every day, just to, like, an hour, like, twice a week, just to go to a psychology class that, you know, by next year, I'm not even going to be able to go to the next one, because I won't have passed to the next grade, like, no, no, I'm not doing that, um, so it's just just from 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 like you know the early years my my schooling history has not been particularly great it's been a train wreck the whole way through but anyway the moral of the story here is i learned french growing up or something that's gonna do it for today though thank you for watching thank you for watching thank you for watching remember to like the video if you like it subscribe to see more of the future comment if you have anything to say i'll see you next time Bye -bye. wrong button